If you're still struggling with the issues with your computer, you can try to rebuild your local profile. Sometimes local profiles get corrupted and you want to basically flush them out completely and create a brand new local profile. You have to be very careful not to delete the data that you want to keep. A lot of personal data is on their local profile, so make sure you create a backup of everything. So if before you even delete the local profile, actually, I wouldn't even delete it. I would, matter of fact, just leave it there if at all possible, if you have enough space, and create a new profile that you would log into. So that way, you always have a backup of your old profile in case you're missing some of those documents that you usually want. This is how you do it by going to search bar, type in users, select add, edit, or remove other users on this device. Select add account on the right side. Here choose, I don't have this person's sign information to create a local account instead of using a Microsoft account. Select add a user without a Microsoft account. Come up with a name for your new account that you will be using, new account. Set up your security questions, make sure they are correct, so in case you need to recover this account. Select next, and here is your new account. Now you can log in with this new account, and it will be a fresh, clean account on your computer, and from there you can rebuild your new login account. If you wish to remove your previous account, and again, make sure you create a backup of everything that's within that account, you can also do it from here. Select remove, or you can also go to system, by right-clicking the Start button, select System, scroll down, select Advanced System Settings, and on the pop-up, select User Profiles, and then select the account you wish to delete. For example, this one here, select Delete. Again, don't do this until you've made sure 100% that you've recovered all the data that you need from your old profile. So never copy over things that are cached data and system settings, for example, within your app data. Never ever copy those over into the new profile. However, you might want to copy over things that are your documents. For example, pictures, emails, passwords, everything that is important to you. But if you are done with it, you can simply delete this old local profile. That is gone. And you can see that there is another profile here that is 180 gigabytes. So that's another reason if your profile is really, really large. This will also free up a lot of space on your computer. So that's a bonus as well. Now, let me just show you the other settings that are within here. If I close all of this and if I go to the C drive, you can see that I don't have much free space. So in this case, deleting that other profile that was named Koboman, I would free up a lot of space. But here is on the computer in the C drive where the local profiles are located. You can see that the Koboman is in there. The other one is not in here because it's not visible. However, we can make it show up just to give you an idea. So just to show you how this would look like whenever you log in with your new account, there would be a folder within here, C users, another folder with that same name that would pop in here. And that would typically happen whenever you log in with to your computer with that login ID and password. We can expedite this by right-clicking, for example, Microsoft Edge here, run as different user, use our new login ID and password, new account. Now we will see it pop up. So it launched Edge under the settings specific to that profile because we use that login ID and password specific to that. And you can see that it popped in within here. So if I go in here, you can see that there is some data that is hidden, but I am logged in as administrator, so I can log in and view what is going on in there. And if I go to app data, you can see that settings for Microsoft Edge are popped in here because that's what we ran earlier. So here are all the current settings that we just popped in, and you can verify this by looking into modified date and time. So that gives you an idea of what is going on with your local profiles. Again, I can't stress this enough. Make sure that you don't delete anything that you find important from your old profile and once you are ready to do it then you can certainly delete it but do not delete anything that you might be having in desktop documents like your bookmarks your cache data your passwords all kinds of different stuff that you want to keep so i would recommend not deleting the old profile even if it's corrupted because if you log in with your brand new profile it's not going to even look at that corrupted data at all it's going to completely ignore it now, there are some cases where local profiles themselves will always be corrupted, and for those reasons, you might want to repair the computer like I've showed you previously. 
doing that will find any corrupted data on your computer in your within your operating system and that way you will be able to basically repair your computer the last thing you want to do is basically re-image the computer basically reinstall the operating system and everything else which you can certainly do but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it as a first step so this is why you owe it to yourself to try all of these other things before you go and re-image everything because that's a pain to do all of this over and over again if you get positive or negative results by doing this please let me know in the comments below so that way I can create better videos in the future